Good morning, y'all. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a quick fishing and weather report for your weekend outlook and the coming week. We're excited here this morning. It's a absolutely beautiful sunrise as we get ready for a great Friday out on the water. Plus, tonight is our special final Friday event with a John's Pass wide trick-or-treating, our chili cook-off, and so much more, and of course the crawfish boil. So it's going to be an exciting day here inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Looking forward to a great time out on the water doing some deep sea fishing. We've got our 44-hour full moon trip leaving here in a little bit. We've got our five-hour half day, private charters, and so much more, but we want to give you guys our weekend outlook on the fishing. We're excited. Fishing is going well near shore, seeing a lot of those hogfish. The hogfish bite has been stellar lately. Seeing a lot of hogfish on that 10 hour all day, getting a chance for them on those five hour half days, crushing them on our near shore charters aboard the hub and flying hub too. We're seeing a lot of lane snapper near shore too. Some good sized mangrove snapper mixed in there as well. So real surprising on the near shore front, the size of the mangrove snapper that we're seeing plus the number of lanes have been really really good too the hogfish bite has been pretty consistent overall generally averaging anywhere from around 10 to about 25 hogfish we're seeing some days that have more we're seeing some days that have a, a few less but generally about 10 to 25 is average for those 10 hour all day trips lately plus we've been having light loads so great time to get out there near shore and join us we're gonna have a little bit of a cool front coming a little bit of a cold front coming midweek next week so if i was you on the near shore fishing side of things i would try to get out there sunday monday tuesday uh, especially like tuesday looks real nice right ahead of that cold front as far as weather is concerned we are looking at that cold front plus on top of that we've got a full moon right now that full moon you know what that means it means generally the outgoing tide bite is better inshore so the outgoing tide bite is going to be your best bet inshore we've got a lot of moving water that means a lot of flushing bait a lot of actively feeding uh, fish inshore as well offshore that full moon generally brings with it a better nighttime bite that's why we run our 12 hour uh night snapper around the full moon unfortunately today's 12 hour night trip is going to have to be canceled though because of the weather going to be a little breezy out of the east luckily our 44 hour can still go out there the big florida fisherman is not deterred by some three and a half four foot seas it doesn't slow down the florida fisherman while our closer to shore trips on the on the friendly on the flying hub two are a little bit more weather prone and weather uh i guess uh sensitive is the word i am looking for so looking forward to that full moon and then that uh low pressure like i said around wednesday midweek we're gonna see that cold front and ahead of those cold fronts the fish bite really really well so best days for fishing are gonna be towards the end of the weekend early work week and on this full moon here today friday saturday is going to be good if you can avoid the wind it is going to be blowing a little bit it is going to be more of a moderate sea condition so a little bumpy but if you got a big boat you can get out there near shore and offshore and make it happen inshore hide from the wind should be pretty good fishing even today and tomorrow but if you want to get out there near shore and offshore on your average to smaller boats probably going to be best for you end of the weekend early work week ahead of that cold front then inshore right now inshore we're seeing a lot of action on the redfish that still continues to dominate the inshore report but the sheep's head are really starting to get aggressive and more prolific we're seeing some good action around the area on pompano you got to work for it a little bit really work hard to find them but once you find an area with pompano they're feeding actively and biting well it just takes a little bit of work hunting around to find where those fish are stacked up we're seeing some good trout action some really large trout too uh, but some really good numbers and concentrations of your average to smaller size trout as well and with the cooling trend that cold front coming they're going to be pushing a little bit shallower as well 
Then on top of that, we're seeing some good snook action, but most of that is in the back bay waters. Our resident beach snook expert, Scott, was able to pull up a nice big old snook, which you'll see here, but uh, that is really the only beach snooking that I've seen lately. Most guys who are snook fishing are catching a bunch of them, but they're much further up into the back bay areas and upper bay areas. A lot of those snook have retreated to those back bay and upper bay areas, starting to kind of stage in their wintertime haunts, closer to those mouths of river mouths, creek mouths, bayous, areas like that where they can regulate their body temperature in shallower water with that dark bay mud. Then also, mangrove snapper action inshore has really dwindled down there's still a few around but most of those areas taken over by sheep's head a lot of mackerel around inshore on those deeper flats deeper edges we're seeing a lot of mackerel on the beaches still really struggling to see a good concentration of kingfish we were hoping to see a good push of kingfish on this full moon. So our hope is still there and hopefully we're gonna catch a handful of them here uh, near shore this weekend and around the beaches while trolling on our five hour half day. But haven't really seen the big push of kingfish like we should this time of year. Now, it is a little warm, water temperature is still pretty high, but this little cold front, we should see those kingfish show up if they don't. I don't have high hopes for this fall kingfish run. So I'm hoping this week, by the end of this week, we'll have a bunch of photos next week to show you a kingfish. Then offshore right now, we're seeing some really good action on plentiful fish and we have super light loads. Not a lot of people going out right now. Today's 44 hour has 21 on it. Next week's 39 hour on Friday only has like 25 people on it. So super light loads right now. Not a lot of people around. Great time to get out there and enjoy some stellar fishing. Seeing a lot of mangrove snapper and a really good average size. Seeing plentiful porgies, vermilions, yellowtail snapper. Seeing a handful of those mutton snapper. Seeing some nice almaco jacks. We're seeing some good scamp grouper. Plenty of strawberry grouper. You've got a great opportunity for pelagics, kingfish, blackfin tuna, maybe even a wahoo. So good opportunities for pelagic species and plenty of grouper and snapper to go out there and catch. It's a great time of year to use some lighter tackle, do some slow pitch jigging, maybe some flat lining. You've got tons of room around the boat to try different unique techniques and styles and try new things use lighter tackle and have a great time out there on the water so hopefully you'll get a chance to join us for a 12-hour extreme or 39-hour trip there's tons of fish to go out there catch and keep and plenty of room around those boats so we hope to see you soon don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing you're just too darn busy hopefully you'll get a chance to try out one of our island trips or shelling trips or dolphin tours as well and then don't forget tonight is final Friday. There's a John's Pass Wide family-friendly trick-or-treating event. There's live music. There's a pub crawl. There's, of course, our crawfish boil with free food, free drinks, and so much more. So we hope to see you soon for final Friday tonight. And then also we have our Real Animals radio show going on every Saturday morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And of course, every Sunday night, 7.30 p.m., we've got our live stream show. And this Sunday night's live stream show, you got a chance to win a free entry into the Fall King of the Beach. We're gonna have Tom uh, Tommy Vernansky from Old Salts Fishing Club join us. And uh, it's gonna be a great time on Sunday night's live stream show. So join us 7 30 p.m you got a chance to win even more stuff and uh, we're going to be talking fishing uh, king fishing and so much more so join us don't forget to come see us out here on the water and have a great friday and a killer weekend y'all thanks for watching thanks for reading